Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Payday 3, and in this video, we are going to be playing the Under the Surface Art Gallery mission and grabbing both of the missable achievements slash trophies, which are for stealing all of the art from all seven exhibitions, as well as finding the painting by Shonda Luttrell, and we're going to be on the very hard difficulty to unlock both of these. You'll also want to grab the zipline bag favor before you start. The most important part to steal the Shonda Luttrell is that you will require a group of at least three people in co-op. You cannot grab it solo. You may notice that my current gameplay clip is in solo and that's just so that you can see everything we have to do from a first person perspective. But as we approach the end of the video, I will transition to a three person clip where we actually grab the paintings, beat the mission and unlock the achievements. Because we are playing on the very hard difficulty, I think our first course of action should be just to take out the camera room. This is located on the second floor and you should be able to access it quickly and easily from one of the exterior climb ups. You will We'll need to put your mask on fairly early on in this mission so don't be surprised that we're going to be doing the whole thing in mask on mode also if you do come across a cell phone make sure you scan it to get the qr code i think i'm going to bank four qr codes here but you will need probably at least three it's going to be a lot easier the more you have i think you can actually get seven total without many issues now once upstairs there are four key interest points which are basically small little offices the first room we went to was the security room, which is where the security guard is that monitors all of the cameras. Additionally, you'll want to find the server room where we can find an item for later as, as well as a possible cell phone we can scan. You can also find the manager's office, which is a very important room. And you can find the break room, which is less important, but sometimes can have things we need. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you probably grab the zipline bag favor, which you grabbed off the street when you spawned. Make sure you climb up onto the back balcony and deploy the zipline, which will take loot towards the escape van while you're in stealth. There are two places to deploy this bag. Make sure you deploy it in the right place. Now, as soon as I take out all the cameras, the first thing I'm gonna spend my time on is securing the entire upstairs, which includes sedating all of the guards and all of the civilians and putting them inside of the security room. Just in case we get searched, this isn't a place that the guards will come, so you're safe to keep the bodies there while we roam around completely freely upstairs. But we do require to stay in stealth for a long time in this mission. With no cameras and the upstairs secured, let's go and find the manager's office. There's a lot of important things here. First off, you can interact with the computer and on the computer, you can find a bunch of information about the UMA paintings and other things you may need to deal with. And behind the manager's desk is an important thing to interact with. You can find a hidden wall and inside of that wall is a safe. Crack open the safe to find an important item we'll need for later, the USB thumb drive. Now I'm going to explain how the hardest loot in probably the entire game works, and that is the Shonda Luttrell painting. On the manager's desk, you can find three miniature figures of sculptures, and these sculptures correspond to full-size sculptures that you can find inside of the art exhibitions. These will change for every single person every time you play. Additionally, inside of the manager's office, behind one of the paintings, you can find the outline of a yellow button. Keep in mind, this will be accessible later, so you'll have to come back here once we get to that step. I'm not ready to explain how you get the Shonda Luttrell painting quite yet. It's coming up in this video. But what you need to know is that if you come across any of the three sculptures that are found in the manager's office desk, do not loot them until later on in this video. Additionally, you are required to stay in stealth in order to grab the Shonda Luttrell painting later. If you break stealth, it gets locked forever and you'll have to restart. So feel free to take a screenshot or write down their descriptions. Do not loot the three sculptures that are found on the manager's desk. The next course of action is to open the unlock bars for all of the art upstairs. To do this, it's pretty simple. You'll find the panel, interact with the panel. This will start the mini game where you have to stand in the circles to fill the bar in the top left corner. Once that bar is filled up, all of the bars that are uh, blocking you from accessing paintings and sculptures should be lowered. 
You will have to do this again for downstairs, but once we have the upstairs cleared out, we can do this entire part in stealth very easily, and that's what we're trying to do. With the security bars lowered, you are ready to try to break into the individual exhibition rooms. You're free to try to use your QR code, but it's actually easier to gain access from the roof of the building. Two of the exhibitions are accessible through vents, and the other two are accessible by cutting glass and then dropping down. If you see a moving cone of red light, it's okay if you stand in it, but it is a motion sensor, so as it moves across you, make sure you do not move while underneath it. For all of these rooms, what we're trying to do is disable the lasers or the floor is lava grid. Basically, don't trip any of the lasers and don't touch the floor if the floor is made of lava. And you are trying to get to a power box where you can shut these off. Each of the four exhibitions upstairs have their own individual power box. This may be pretty obvious, but because you're in co-op, you can split up and do different rooms at the same time to just save time overall. One of them will just require you to crouch underneath the lasers in the right area. The other one will require you to jump from furniture to furniture while not touching the ground and one of the other ones will require you to just time your run through the gallery as the lasers keep moving. But your goal here is to basically disable the lasers for all four of the upstairs exhibition rooms. Doing so through the roof is the easiest. Our overall goal is to loot the entire upstairs in stealth while leaving behind the sculptures that are displayed in the manager's room. And we're trying to do this all in stealth, getting all of the loot over to the van without being spotted. This will make it way easier at the end of the level should you break stealth. But as of this moment, you actually aren't allowed to break stealth. We still need to grab a painting that requires it. One specific piece of art you have to give a little bit of extra attention to is the Uma painting, and there will be two of the same paintings in the gallery. One is real and one is fake, and you can find out where you'll find them based on an email in the manager's room on their computer. For me, I'm going to have identical paintings in Exhibition 4 and Exhibition 7. Once you know where the two duplicates are, you'll need two things to actually grab this painting. The first is the spectrometer, which I found in the server room. It looks like a tripod item. It'll glow when you go up to it, and when you interact with it, it'll go into a bag onto your back. The other item you'll need is the USB drive found inside of the safe of the manager's office. We grabbed it earlier. So now go to one of the duplicate paintings, it doesn't matter which one you start with, and cut a hole in the glass. This will allow you to throw the mass spectrometer onto the ground in front of it. The spectrometer will scan the item and it will let you know if you are scanning the authentic one or the inauthentic one. And this is important because we obviously want the authentic one. Because the one I scanned is not authentic, I know the one I need is the one from the other room. And I only have one USB drive to use, so I'm going to use it on the authentic one in the other room by cutting the glass, looking inside, using the USB drive, and then picking up the painting. If you pick up the wrong painting, it will dissolve into flames instead of you being able to bag it and then take it in stealth to the van. Our goal remains to loot the entire upstairs exhibition areas without taking any of the sculptures from the manager's desk. Get all of those items, send them off of the zip line, and load them into the truck. Once the entire upstairs is gutted except for those sculptures, we can move on to the next step. At this point, our goal is to basically repeat the same process we just did, but we're going to do it downstairs. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the console on the wall. This will open up the mini game with the rings that fill up the bar in the top left corner that disables the security in some of the exhibition rooms. And then we're actually going to go into the exhibition rooms, this time using QR codes to disable the power boxes, allowing the laser grids to not catch us. The important part is the downstairs area is going to be a little bit tougher because we are not able to take out any of the guards that will be roaming around here. We used all of our luck for the guards upstairs, so we're just going to have to remain in really good stealth. Because you are in co-op, it is advantageous to split up and it is advantageous for at least two people to stay upstairs at all times where it's safe. So now that we're still in stealth, we've opened up almost the entire map and we know where everything is. It's time to finally work on getting that Shonda Luttrell painting. And to do it, 
go to the manager's office and take note of the three sculptures on their desk. Be very specific with memorizing them. For us, we had a golden infinity symbol, a metal building structure, and a wooden looking thing with a spike sticking out the back of it. With this information, you wanna set up one person from your team at each of these sculptures, and you have to loot all three of them at the exact same time. So we have one friend in one room, one in another, and me in the room downstairs. All three of us are gonna loot these three sculptures at the same time based on a countdown in our party chat. And if we do that, it will reveal a button inside of the manager's room, but you are not quite ready to press it yet. The reason is because pressing the button will set up a laser grid. That laser grid is exceptionally difficult to navigate, but if you set up someone in your group in the correct position before pressing the button, you can grab the painting without having to do the laser grid. The Shonda Luttrell painting that you've been searching for is located downstairs in its own little private side room, and you wanna navigate to it by just walking up here. And then once you are in position, you can call out to a co-op teammate in the manager's office to press the button that was behind the manager's painting. You would have moved the painting to reveal the button if you looted all three of the sculptures at the same correct time. At this point, it doesn't really matter if you break stealth because we've prepped everything in the escape van from upstairs. We have the Shonda Luttrell painting and we have everything opened downstairs. If you accidentally trip a wire on your way out, as I do, it's not a huge deal. You will need to go to the roof to call in the chopper. And once the chopper's there, you will need to bag all of the loot. Let's go over how many bags you'll need. It's a lot of them. The answer is 21 bags. The key pieces of loot are the Greg Judd painting in Exhibition 1, the Uma Ledet painting, which is found upstairs, and we use the spectrometer to verify which one was the correct one. There will also be two Pedro Vicario paintings, which you can find out where they are located based on information in the manager's computer emails. And you'll also have quite a few sculptures, including the three you needed for the secret painting, as well as all of the other ones that you didn't need. You also have the secret painting itself, and assuming that all of the rooms are looted, I would highly recommend each person on your team checks every single room once or twice, you can load everything up into the chopper and escape when you are ready. If you do break stealth like I did unfortunately at the end here, being able to negotiate with the police to increase your time before they arrive can be exceptionally useful. The Latrell painting will unlock as you throw it into the chopper as you are escaping, so luckily you don't need to complete the mission, but you do want all of the loot from all of the exhibitions, so verify that you have all of it by doing run-throughs, verifying all of the little sculptures, all of the little paintings, and everything else in between. Now, the first assault itself isn't very hard to survive, in my opinion. I didn't even have the right gun equipped, and we did just fine. But the longer you stay in the assault, the harder this will be. So we really recommend getting out as fast as possible, which is why it was important to load a bunch of the loot into the van while in stealth at the beginning. And you also want to pay attention to the optional objective in the top left corner for getting all the loot. That will disappear once you're ready to go. But once everyone is sure that we're ready to go, get into that escape route and you are free to leave, popping the other achievement slash trophy. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show and shout out to Cluck for showing me some of these strategies. Peace.